Hi, Gary Stearman. Time for another update from Prophecy Watchers, and we're very pleased to have in studio Pastor Teacher Billy Crone. And you're also a writer, by the way. Yeah, a little bit there. You do a little bit of writing. You've written a book called uh, The Rapture with a little subtitle here that says Don't Be Deceived. Yeah. And uh, you've got some experience along that line. The people are out there trying to deceive people about the uh, pre-tribulation rapture of the church. Oh yeah, I don't know if you're getting the same emails that uh, I'm getting, but uh, yeah. I, it's long past, unfortunately, where you can demonstrate a mark of maturity and agreeably disagree on a secondary issue. It used to be like that, but it's not that way anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, I got people that are saying that I'm a horrible pastor and and whatever. That's uh, that's nothing new. People have different, but now it's going that I'm satanic. I'm teaching pre-trib. It's demonic. I even got an email from a guy that says, I'm not even saved. I'm headed to the lake of fire, all because of the pre-trib rapture. And yet the irony and the sad irony, if you will, is that's not only division in the church, but uh, on a secondary issue, and that's demonstrating not maturity, but immaturity, as mature as you want to think you are, but with all due respect. But the rapture is a blessed hope. It's to comfort one another. And yeah. you're robbing people of that. That's true. And because their mindset uh, is not uh, you're looking for Jesus Christ, you're looking for the Antichrist. You're not looking to get busy because he can, the imminency of the pre trib position, rapture, that he could, it could happen anytime. I got to get my life right with God. I got to be holy, uh, living for him and not goof off, not get worldly, keep my mind on things above, get busy sharing the gospel. But no, your mindset is I'm, I'm freaked out. I'm scared. I'm looking for not Jesus Christ. I'm looking for the Antichrist. I, I'm trying to store up you know, enough supplies to make it for the seven-year tribulation, the ultimate survivor. I'm trying to not advance the gospel. I'm trying to hide out in a cave. You know, that's, that's unfortunate. That's very interesting. Uh, the uh, the spirit of our times seems to be uh, pre-doom, uh, if you will. Yep. Ev- everybody's got some cloud of doom out there that they're telling you about. Uh, the currency is going to drop to zero. Uh, uh, there will be epidemics that will uh, kill hundreds of thousands of people. I mean, yep. there, every kind of doom you can think of people are talking about Mm-hmm. But if we come along and talk about the pre-tribulation or after the church, we're somehow being uh, evil. Yeah, we're, we should be warning people about the coming doom rather than saying there's a way out. Yeah. Well, hey, I don't you know throw the baby out the bathwater. I think we need to deal with all aspects and certainly geopolitical events, world events, and keep our eyes on that. But you got to balance it out with what's called the blessed hope. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if these are in fact signs to indicate that the seven-year tribulation is getting close, I, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, but uh, but what is our uh, mindset to be as Christians in the meantime? Freaked out, running to the hills? No, we're supposed to occupy. We're supposed to get busy sharing the gospel. The Great Commission, not the grand suggestion. And, and, and again, that's what you get with the pre-trib position of the rapture. So I'm not saying put your head in the sand, but at the same time you have to maintain hope and that comes from the rapture. right? Because when Christians lose their hope, man, we're walking around hopeless and what kind of a witness is that to the lost? We're not the losers in this equation. We're the winners, and Christ is coming back to get us. And just as He has promised to rescue us from His wrath eternally in a place called hell, He has promised to rescue us uh, from uh, seven years of His wrath being poured out on this planet. What? And so if you're excited and hopeful as a Christian that you're not going to have to go to hell, and we should be excited about that, what's wrong with being excited about the imminency of of being rescued from the seven-year tribulation, the rapture. Nothing, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, you've got uh, six features here on the uh, on the back of your your uh, seven DVD set. Number one, the importance of the rapture. Number two, the purpose. Number three, the timing. Number four, the objections to it. Number five, the positions of of the rapture, and you go into great detail about that. Number six, the proper attitude of the rapture. And along with, with you uh, is Pastor J.D. Farag. Many people may know him yeah. already. He's a, yeah. a, great, a, a great preacher. Donald Perkins is, mm-hmm. is here. Terry James, Todd Strandberg are yeah. uh, making appearances here. And of course with Rapture Ready they, uh, they're long acquainted with this topic. Oh yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And each one of them we had uh, great insights, great interviews. Yeah. Uh, on the DVDs you get the full blown interviews right. that are peppered throughout the study. And uh, just great topic, just to hear from other men as well, good Bible prophecy teachers, uh, great Bible prophecy teachers, and, and, and glean from them as well. Uh, why do they believe biblically as well, the pre-trib, and also flipping it around. 
what, is, what, what are their concerns with these other positions, and can yeah. we deal with that too? You know, the nugget, the little jewel in this whole seven DVD set is your trip to uh, Scotland. Oh, yeah. That was, and and that was back to the, to the land of Margaret MacDonald. A lot of you have heard her name. Yeah. And John Nelson Darby. Yeah. You visited the grave of John Nelson Darby. He was a hero of the faith, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and you work that all into this DVD series in a very dramatic way. And I, I just think you've done a great job. And talk about exhaustive uh, ma material. You cover aspects of the argument that I don't think I've ever heard before. So well, you've and we, done well. We, we try to be exhaustive, and that's, that's the Lord. Uh, thank you, Gary. But uh, he gets the glory. But the, I, and I hesitate again to use these words, but it really is like a dictionary on the rapture. And we just started the basis and went all the way and looked at all the different positions and, 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 and making the case we feel for the pre-trib position biblically and, the, and dealing with all the antagonists. It's the whole enchilada to use the phraseology. And yeah, it was an absolute blast because we went and we filmed on location in Hawaii and Arkansas, different. And, and I'm, I'm, the DVDs, it's, I'm a, like, you know, I'm, I'm like a, it's like a detective, a CSI, and we're investigating this thing called the rapture and we're going literally all over the planet and interviewing experts in on-site locations and, and that Margaret McDonald issue and man, pff, wow, that, we couldn't wait to expose that thing. Uh, with all due respect, that's one of the worst case of human, uh, that accusation that John Darby started this from Margaret McDonald in 1830 and it's demonic is one of the most bankrupt things and we were there on-site, yeah. on-location, you could see it with your own eyes. We were there and it is so untrue. He got his revelation of the rapture. He didn't uh, invent it. He rediscovered it by being al allowed to read the scripture himself three years prior. He also knew about Margaret MacDonald, but he admitted historically that what she was doing was demonic. Number three, we couldn't wait to expose this, and we did it in a very dramatic way. Um, yeah. That uh, when you take a look at her utterance and you can get a copy of it, it's not even, she's not even talking about pre-trib, she's talking about post-trib. And yet this accusation is coming from the post trips. It, it just it blew me away. We couldn't wait to get it exposed. And I think the problem is, and I think you've put your finger on it, that uh, there's a sort of an aura of fear today mm -hmm. uh, rather than an aura of faith. Yeah. I think people are, are scared to death. They're running scared. And they're saying the only defense we have is to prepare. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and this would be to prepare with food and gold and silver and ammo and guns and whatever you want to prepare with mm -hmm. uh, in a worldly sort of way yeah. rather than in a spiritual way. And it's, it's curious to me that people are scoffing at, at a spiritual preparedness. Yeah, well, and, and again, why would you scoff at the event of the rapture that Christ is going to come and take us and rescue us and it's going to be an absolutely wonderful, fantastic event, right? It's, resurrected bodies is awesome. I mean, do you scoff at heaven? I mean, have you, has anybody looked at the description of heaven? I mean, that place is literally otherworldly, fantastic, and wonderful. So why would you scoff at this other event, and yet I'm assuming you don't scoff at heaven? I mean, that's God. That's our God. That's what He has prepared for us. We're His children. He loves us. We're His bride. Do you really think that before He comes and gets His bride, He is going to beat her up with His wrath? Is our God a wife beater? I mean, let's be honest here. I mean, is that how Christ is pictured with His with the church? Serious Not issues. At all. Serious issues. But again, when you understand this, we, we yes, we got to deal with the world that we're in, but you balance it out with hope. And that hope comes from the listen, we are guaranteed hard times. Scripture is clear about that. Jesus promised. But he's talking about general tribulation. In fact, he said, in this world you shall have right. tribulation. But what he's talking about is general tribulation. That's the ellipsis in the Greek. The words that's used for the, capital T, tribulation, right. is a whole different Greek word. It's orge. It's God's wrath. Right. And the scripture says, yes, you might experience troubles. We're going to experience troubles. You need to understand what's going on in the world. I get that. But the promise, the blessed hope is, you are not appointed unto orge, wrath. wrath. And that instills hope. You're going to go through challenges but at least you're not going to that. You know, when you get Billy started, it's hard to get him stopped. <laughs> you are a preacher. Yeah. And, and you get out there and preach like nobody's business. And, yeah. and you, that's your gift, and I love it. But you also have a gift of putting together things logically. And The Rapture, your book, does a, a logical, a creditable job of, of making the case for the pre trib rapture of the yeah. church. It's, it's good. Yeah. And by the way, the DVD set, we, we, DVD set we, we have both of these in our online bookstore. Go to uh, prophecywatchers.com, just uh, 
tap on that online bookstore and scroll down and you'll find Billy's name and you'll find uh, these products. The Rapture 7 DVD set, Don't Be Deceived, is it's exhaustive. That's all I've got to say. It's just it covers virtually every aspect of the pre-trib rapture of the church. Yeah. Well, and that's what we wanted to do. And again, I hesitate using the word dictionary, but it's like a dictionary in the rapture. And we wanted to be replete. If we're going to deal with this based on the unfortunate behavior lately uh, with the other positions against the pre-trib, all right, then let's be honest. Let's go down deep. Let's deal with it exhaustively. But also, let's take a look at your position as well, right? You've been hammered at us with all due respect. Let's take a look at yours and how does it fly? Yeah, and when you hammer at the other people's arguments, I think you do so with courtesy. I mean, mm -hmm. you're not vindictive or vengeful no. or spiteful or whatever. You just say, here are the facts. Here's the facts, Most logically. Believe. Yeah. And doesn't seem to add up to me, but you make your own decision. <laughs> we live in an emotional era. Yeah. I think the latest election shows us that. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 human emotion. Not only uh, here in America, but you see it in Europe, Middle yeah. East. Uh, there's a, a kind of a, a disturbance mm -hmm. roiling out there, which tells us what time it is. Mm -hmm. uh, some would say we're living in the last days. I yeah. think you might agree with that. Oh, absolutely. And uh, that, again, is the importance of the rapture, is the preacher position. Is this the only one that maintains imminency? That that event can happen at any time. Right. And the reality is, guess what? When the rapture happens, not if, what are you going to be doing as a Christian? Because you're going to be doing something. I'm going to be doing something, you're going to be something. When that event happens, yeah. what are you going to be doing? Are you goofing off? Are you worldly? Are you backsliding? Or are you being a faithful witness like the Thessalonians, where the whole teaching of the rapture comes from with Paul, one of the passages, and you look at them and what was their response of living in imminency along with Paul? Was Paul lazy? As some people would accuse the preacher of position, mm. Yeah. The Thessalonians, lazy? Mm -mm. They were uh, very uh, evangelistic. They were a model church. They were out there. They were living holy life. That's what we should be doing today. The imminency of the rapture is a blessing to the church, not only for the hope to escape the wrath to yeah. come, but it is also a blessing because it keeps us clean. It keeps us on target. It keeps us active, living for Jesus, making the most of what time we have left in the last days. Well said, Pastor Teacher Billy Crone. Uh, we're going to be doing some interviews with him, some programs, and you'll want to see those because we go into depth and detail the defense of the pre-tribulation rapture. Uh, go to the bookstore. It's called The Rapture, uh, right here at the Prophecy Watchers bookstore. Don't be deceived. The other one is called The Rapture, Don't Be Deceived. Seven DVDs in here that are very well produced, very exciting, and detailed beyond anything I think that you've ever seen. Billy, uh, come visit us again. We love to talk to you. Thank you, sir. Great being here. I'm Gary Stearman. Hey, keep watching everybody. We are. Thanks for joining us on Prophecy Watchers. You can find us on the web at prophecywatchers.com where you can sign up for our free email newsletter. In the meantime, keep watching everybody and we'll see you soon.